Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the Shadow and Sun Show. Today is the third annual GPC Award Ceremony, which we do for no apparent reason. No. Uh, we, want, we want to highlight the, the, the past year. This is our last go-through with, with all the cool things that happened last year, including shouting out all of our favorite YouTubers out there, the gamers, the painters, and the crafters, all the content creators that, that helped us get where we are this year and just made the whole experience that much better. These are our favorite YouTubers we watch as often as possible. Well, I do. He, he, you know, he, he's got school and stuff, so. Yeah, I'm busy can. all of the time. So this is true. It totally is true. He's, yes. he's a very busy guy. You guys know all the, the cool things he's doing. And I'm not going to embarrass him because he keeps elbowing me in the chops. But this is more or less our last chance to say Happy New Year to all you guys. And we're going to start with our favorite crafter. The amazing, absolutely amazing channel. That being Broken Terrain. If you have not... If you have not watched this channel, please go out there. If you have any desire to, to craft your own terrain or, or make something to add to your tabletop, go check him out. He's absolutely phenomenal. Everything he does just makes me feel like a noob all over again. So please, go check out his channel. Give him subs. Share his videos with all your friends and family. Go out there and, and, and swipe your, your, your GF's phone and, and subscribe to him on, on that. You know, go to your parents, use their, their laptops, and subscribe everywhere you can. For the second award, this goes to Best Painter, and though here it's his favorite, we do mean objectively best. This one goes to... Rick from 28mm RPG. Though most people know him for his like game mastering and all that sort of stuff, he did one with him a while back, mm -hmm. not too long ago. But despite that, people don't really take a good look at his painting, and it is really good. So, also he's the guy who made our intro and technically outro music, and uh, big sad, I know, but... <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Rick. We'll, yeah. we'll never forget this. Nor will I forget the game that I was in, which is Shadow of the Stars, which yeah. is, is a great, great traveler campaign. Go and check that out, and if he ever does a painting video, pay attention to every single word. Third category for the evening is the most entertaining, the funniest guy with a channel, because the funniest guy out there is obviously James L. If you guys don't know that, just wait, pray, one day he'll make a channel. But this is all about you, Bruce. You are the funniest guy, and the best thing about your humor is it's always true, 100% accurate. No matter who you're, you're jabbing, no matter who you're, you're you know, cracking a joke about or with, it's always the absolute truth, at least in our opinion, and you never cease to amaze with all your talents, but what I'm always going to remember you for the most are the jokes. Number four for most informative goes to DM James. He, though we may not agree on everything when it comes to games, specifically him, um, we do, I specifically do agree with him with the, about everything else, therefore, he is informative. James, you are a wonderful guy, don't yeah. ever quit doing yeah. what you're doing. Take all the breaks you need, but just keep coming back, being yourself, and, you know, obviously drag your little brother along, because, you know, it wouldn't be the same without him. Yeah. But thank you, I, I, I appreciate everything you've done for us, and I always, always watch your videos, I never hesitate. You're one of the few people I could say, if your video comes up, I am there, and you probably you probably already know that. Now, yeah. you want to pick up your cards? Cause, no. Because you have no idea what's next. I only dropped one. Oh, check you out. <laughs> Magic trick tonight. That was pretty sneaky, sis. It's your turn. No. Wait, really? Yeah, I'm, I'm six, you're five, man. All right, well, this one goes to... Greatest, because again, we're objective here, Game Reviewer. Let me make sure I pronounce it right. 
Max Liao and Heathen Dog. They did it from Legion of Myth. Yes. That's the channel name. Um they did a let's just say in depth review <laughs> in depth of Palladium. For some reason I almost said prospectors. Palladium. Which uh, says about everything you need to know. Uh, if you watch it, you probably don't even need to buy the books if you can memorize it. Just have the playlist somewhere. That's all you really need. Absolutely, Max, and you too, he the dog. You guys are the kings when it comes to taking a game apart and showing us all the good, the bad, the ugly, everything you could possibly ever want to know. Which, of course, obviously saves people a ton of money, so they don't have to buy the game. Like he said, just. Grab the playlist and, and, and wait for the review and you'll know how to play the game. But you guys are, again, like Bruce, honest to a T, honest to a fault, and give us so much insight. Even on games like Palladium that I had played for 10 years, I, I learned a lot of stuff, some mistakes I'll never make again. And obviously, you know, Max, you have been just such a stand-up guy this year. We had to, you know, we had to mention your channel. So everybody yep. out there... Go subscribe to Legion of Myth, whether it be on YouTube or now Rumble. Make sure you're watching their videos because you will walk away a better person. Objectively. Oh, oh it's me. Yes, it is you. <laughs> this goes out to our favorite product reviewer. Um, not a stranger to this show. He's been here before. That is one of our absolute favorites. Uncle Adam from Tabletop Minions. If you see one of his videos and it's it's a product you've never heard of, check out the review because you'll 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 get a square deal. You'll get the, the 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 real story behind the product, and he's not afraid to go after the big guys and and put them down when their product is is you know basically overpriced plastic and inferior. Right, um, Uncle Adam, great guy, great channel. Please go check him out if you haven't already. And with, you know, 100,000 subs, you guys are probably already subbed to him. But don't hesitate to check out the channel. That's you, bud. Number seven. Number seven. Our favorite company channel is... Uh, Army Painters. Yes. Why do those never go where I want them to? Anyways, we use their paints a lot. They were the first ones that we got. Um, when we first started this... Before we actually started the channel, he, he bought a huge amount of Army Painter paints. So we've been using them since the very beginning. Well, we've been using craft paints, but they're craft paints. And again, inferior. But now, recently, with the speed paints being a thing now, which we use very often, he's a big fan of them. Absolutely. And the videos that they make on their stuff are just good. They're, they aren't these like 10 minute essentially everything that we make where it's useless, it actually tells you what you need to know. Anyway, back to you. Not only that, not just their paints though, their, their, their supplies, well some of their stuff might be a little overpriced, what is it these days, but yeah. their tufts, their, their, well I'm not going to say their sand because that's dumb. Uh, but would there's you need to buy sand? First off, I'm not a big fan of sand if you didn't already know, but even if you were, just go out and get some. But all their other products, top notch, from palettes to, to tufts to scenery, even the new kits to help, you know, beginning crafters out there to make just a bunch of ruins or snow, snow capped no. terrain or dungeons. All, all these new kits, they're, they're pretty cool too. You have to excuse the dog, he's being a bit kind Chewy! Of, being, a, you, know, you know how dogs are. Being a dog. Yeah. Uh, so that comes back to me again yes. with our favorite online game master. Sorry, Rick, it wasn't you. Um, I, I know I should have said it was you, but I really not favorite, best. Um, you remember these things. That that goes out to our dear friend Fritz from the GM's alcove. Nobody can can craft a story like he can. The the narrations. Just the loving attention to every word that, that comes out of his mouth when he's describing what the players see, the, the combat, the, the, the entire experience that is GM Fritz's 
worlds and games are, in, in, in my, my humble opinion, no, are. They're objectively correct. Uh, objectively correct. The best. Fritz, keep doing what you're doing. Never stop. I can't wait to see you again. As a matter of fact, I look forward to watching your, your live streams every day. They're, they're literally a part of my daily routine. So hurry up. Do your, do your holiday stuff. Get back because we miss you. Yes. Number nine. Now back to me. All right. Biggest Geekus. Not sure if you've heard of them. Very epic. They have a new website company, which uh, he has some plans for. But outside of that, they're really good. You can get STS, STL, I can't speak if you weren't aware. You can get those. STL files. Yes. A much better alternative to uh, other companies, which may or may not exist. You know what I'm talking about. And if you weren't aware, they were the first people to invite him onto one of their shows, which fell, feels like a long time ago, though in reality it kind of wasn't. Um, but uh, speaking of uh, the guy who got you started with uh, this whole thing... Last but not least, <clears throat> the channel with the most heart and soul out there. Eric and Rachel's Ten Cars Tavern. They do a lot of videos, or at least Eric does a lot of videos when it comes to the gaming world, all the shenanigans that are going on, all the controversy, all that crap that, uh, to be honest, uh, most of us don't care about. Uh, the gossipy you know, fans out there love it. All the other cool stuff that he does, all pale in comparison to the Gamer's Health show on Saturdays, 5 p.m. avocado time, every Saturday. I wish I could see every one of them. Unfortunately, Bruce has got me roped into a, a epic campaign that I just can't get away from. So I only get to go there every other week on Saturdays. But As much as some people yeah. wish you would. But the, the channel, the, or excuse me, the Gamers Health Show is a great place to just be able to get some quasi-medical professional advice from gamers who've just been through it all and if... if you don't know, Eric has been through literally all of it. Um, from his careers to his health issues, he, he's, he's made it through and, and still going strong. But it's a nice place to be able to just kick back on Saturdays and get some advice from some people out there who, who may have a different take on, you know, what you could do to make your life a little better, a little healthier, things you eat the kinds of exercise you, you, you go into, especially for us all for all of us grognards out there who've been doing this and sitting at our gaming table and packing on the pounds. Uh, the two years don't count because they never happened. But seriously, the, the heart and soul they put into that alone makes them in our book legendary. So with all of that said, that is it for the third annual New Year's Eve. <laughs> GPC Awards show. <laughs> Sorry. I was going. Never, never mind, never mind. He was going to say that. I was going to say that, yes. Anyways, good night. Have a great day, everybody, and God bless.